Atami searches for gold by mining and panning during the day. Although he can see battles going on in the distance, he doesn't seem really interested in them. He finds a large gold deposit, gathers a good number of nuggets, mounts his horse, and rides off toward the closest town while carrying his dog. Atami comes into a 30-man Vermont platoon, commanded by the brutal SS, O-B-E-R-S-T-U-R-M-F-H-R-E-R Bruno Heldorf, and his lieutenant Wolf along the route. They are destroying communities while retreating, and have captured a number of Finnish women. Heldorf ignores Atami and shows no interest in him. Soon after, Atami is approached by more soldiers, who find his gold-filled saddlebags and are about to have him and his dog put to death. But, he quickly dispatches them all. Bruno investigates after hearing gunfire and finds the devastation. One of the dead warriors had taken one of Atami's gold nuggets, which he finds. Atami is pursued by Bruno and his tank to the edge of a minefield, where a landmine kills Atami's horse. Atami gathers his riches and sets off another mine on purpose in order to get away. The minefield rapidly claims the troops sent after him. To provide a clear way, two of the imprisoned ladies are given orders in advance. Eino, one of the prisoners, offers to replace one of the ladies and leads the way. After finding Atamis dog tag, Bruno discovers that, during the Winter War, he was a Finnish commando, who had lost his family and house in battle against the Red Army, when Atami was left with nothing. He turned into a ruthless and infamous one-man death squad known as Koch, the immortal, who murdered hundreds of communist soldiers. Bruno disobeys the instruction to stop chasing Atami, and turn around, disregarding the warning. Atami is startled awake by the platoon's arrival. Having been hurt and worn out, he hangs beneath one of the German cars, punctures the fuel tank, and douses himself in gasoline to mask his smell, while the troops' dogs follow him. Atami escapes when the battalion stops to check the leak. He fends off the dogs by setting himself on fire and then jumps into a nearby lake. Bruno orders soldiers into the lake as he waits for him to surface. But Atami cuts their throats underwater and inhales the air that is escaping from their necks. When Atami gets over the water, Bruno discovers his puppy. Atami finds refuge at a gas station after learning that the Germans had left the town in ruins that are on fire. Bruno, with a lighted stick of dynamite on his collar, sends Atami's dog to find his owner. Atami calms the dog down, but the blast weakens her. Atami is hanged from the gas station sign by Bruno, Wolf, and tank driver SCHTZE, who take the gold and leave him for dead. However, Atami manages to save himself from the noose by securing his wounds onto a protruding reinforcement bar, which leaves him unconscious and yet hanging from the rope. When two German pilots descend in an attempt to find fuel, the wind from the aircraft causes the gas station's sign to come free, causing Atami to tumble to the earth. When the plane's engineer discovers that Atami is still alive, the captain gives him the order to kill both the dog and Atami. The engineer is killed by Atami, while the pilot is rendered unconscious. Bruno plans to use the gold to escape with Wolf and SCHTZ, arranging for a pilot to fly them to safety as the rest of the platoon heads to Norway. Bruno is unwilling to face the implications of Germany's oncoming loss. Atami compels the pilot who is still alive to fly him in the direction of the battalion. The pilot of the aircraft was hanged by the same noose Wolf used on Atami. The troops soon learn when the plane crashes in their path. Atami kills the guards aboard the vehicle with the captive ladies and equips them with weapons as the convoy moves on, taking over one of the vehicles. He and Aino let Bruno get aboard it as the women shoot the remaining troops on the other truck.
after a Tommy drags Wolf out of the tank and gives him a severe beating, she abandons him to the mercy of the ladies and goes after Bruno, who brutally murders S-C-H-T-Z-E before flying off with the pilot. A Tommy uses his pickaxe to carve his way on board the aircraft while it is in mid-air after firing at it, gravely injuring the pilot. Following a hand-to-hand -hand battle, Bruno subdues Atami by beating him with a static line. Bruno is ready to strike him again, when Atami quickly attaches the static line to a bomb, lets it go through the bomb bay door, and kills Bruno. Atami straps himself in as the jet falls into a large swamp after discovering the pilot is also dead. The lady, under Aino's leadership, show the German tank and wolf to a stunned Finnish army, a Tommy, who is remarkably still alive, emerges from the marsh, finds his dog, and travels to Helsinki, which has been devastated by war. A Tommy, covered in bruises and cuts, walks inside a bank and throws his gold nuggets on the counter. The other patrons, who are well dressed, stare at him in shock. When he eventually does talk in the film, it's to ask the teller to swap them for big bank notes, saying they'll be easier to carry than the nuggets. 